If you're watching this video, either you're trying to figure out your wardrobe still, or you already have it dialed in, but you're still open to trying new things. Either way, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to experiment without making complete fools of ourselves. Ooh, I'm a pretty man. Ooh, that's that ugly style. And I would be an absolute hypocrite if I didn't actually practice what I preach. So in this video, I partnered with Stitch Fix and one of their personal stylists to purposely push me out of my comfort zone. So as I tell you what to do, you also see how I did it. The first thing you want to do is document your current style. Really take a strong look at your wardrobe and see what you're willing to be a little bit flexible on and also where you draw the line and you absolutely will not change. And a really easy way to do this in the way that I did it is fill out my style profile on Stitch Fix when you go through everything from body type to the colors you like to wear to fit preferences, fabrics, patterns, just so you can level set and kind of figure out a starting point. For those of y'all that follow me on Instagram, you know my personal style is monochrome. That's where I'm most comfortable, black, white, gray. I'm very minimal and I'm also Japanese inspired, meaning most of my jackets are gonna be kimono and the collars that I wear are either gonna be crew neck shirts or mandarin collar shirts. I don't even own any more standard or button down collars at all. Number two is to start with small details. And this is the easiest way to kind of start trying new things because you wanna hold on to things that make you comfortable also while exploring new stuff. So you can do multiple of these. But I'ma keep it real with you. Me and my Stitch Fix stylist probably went through like three rounds of sending boxes back and forth. I'm just hard to shop for. And one of the best benefits of Stitch Fix is that the shipping is free going back and forth. So if I was just a regular customer, that would be my same process either way. And we finally came to agreement on these six pieces. We got two denim shirts from Eventide. They both have a vintage wash to them, one in gray and one in a dusty clay red color. And as you can see, they're not my usual Mandarin or band color, but they are in my comfort zone of color. So you wanna still have a piece of you when you try something new. I have this all black Henley from Rag and Bone. I probably haven't owned a Henley since I was maybe 20 years old because I was a lot more skinny. I was a lot more in shape. It doesn't really flatter my body usually but if I know I wear black it's gonna slim me up a little bit and it's something that's more acceptable so when I tried this on it definitely fit me a lot better and then we have these shorts from Artifact which are probably the fourth pair of shorts that I own I don't own a lot of shorts I don't wear a lot of shorts but I'm really really big on comfort especially during quarantine I've been wearing sweats like every single day the way that they're stretchy they're comfortable they're breathable and on top of that they're dark gray. So you see with all these items, they fit my style, but still push me a little bit. Now, number three on this list is gonna be a little more difficult. You wanna pick one statement item, something that really stretches you, whether it's color, fit, maybe even an accessory, like a bright colored sock type of hat that you wouldn't wear, but just pick one thing that is bold for you personally. And for me, it is this red L, red denim jacket. Now the material of this jacket is still kind of in my comfort zone. I have denim naragi and kimono, but I actually haven't had a denim jacket in a couple years. And this red color is super bold, but wait till you see how your guy put it together. And that leads me to number four. When you get that statement item, you have to do the wardrobe test. Any new style or piece of clothing or shoes that you're trying should still kind of go with your wardrobe somewhat. It shouldn't be so different that you have to buy all new clothes and shoes to go around this one thing. So with that being said, it's try on time. So this first outfit, a piece of cake for me. All monochrome gray, so I'm very comfortable in the color. Those jeans are already had in my closet. The boots are already on, but the switch up is the color on this shirt. Even looking at this footage right now, I'm still not super comfortable, but I'm vibing with it. I'm learning how to work with it. Now next we have the Henley and shorts outfit. You see I paired them with my same low top minimal sneakers that I wear all the time with the charcoal color matching the shorts. And here's how it looks in its basic form. Now to make it even more me, I threw a noragi over it. Now this feels more like a Devon on deck outfit. It feels a lot more like me. Maybe one day I get to a place where I can wear a Henley by itself, but I feel like it looks better on more fit guys. And finally, we have the red jacket outfit. You see, I paired it with that dusty light clay color button down. The shirt was a little long, so I definitely tucked it in, but I pulled it out a little bit so you don't see my belly. I can't really do a tight tuck. And then I stayed in my comfort zone of black with the black slacks and the black sneakers from my closet. Then then when I switch it up with the stack tail boots, now we have more of a smart casual look. So I was able to mix this with the things in my wardrobe and the red jacket passes the wardrobe check. So if you are also trying to challenge yourself like I am and 
grow in your style, I strongly suggest Stitch Fix. You have a personalized service with real actual people, professional stylists, helping you build your wardrobe. And it's especially easy when you use the guide that I just gave you. If you click the link in my description, you get your first styling fee waived. And once you get your fix in the mail, anything you don't want to keep, you can send back prepaid label, no cost to you. Now before you get out of here, make sure to drop a comment on which one of these outfits fits your personal style the best or which one you felt like fit me the best. And a big thank you to Stitch Fix for sponsoring this video, but more so for being extra patient with your guy during the styling process. As a guy who's very particular with his clothing, I know that I was probably harder to work with than most. And that's really all I got for y'all. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you on the next one. Peace.